But for more than three decades, I have also had the tremendous fortune to travel the world. And as part of that experience, to learn about the goodness and beauty of Islam. As a college student in the 1970s, I spent a summer traveling through Indonesia, taking in the wonderful landscape, culture, and people of Java and Bali. Despite my long hair, my earring, and my obvious American appearance, I was welcomed throughout that country in a way that is reflect a reflection of the tremendous warmth of Islamic cultures and societies. Like the president during his childhood years in Jakarta, I came to see Islam, not how it is often misrepresented, but for what it is, how it is practiced every day by well over a billion Muslims worldwide, a faith of peace and tolerance and great diversity. And if you permit me, or I should say, Ismahli, <clears throat> Bad Indonesia, Safarat Ila Misr. Wahunak Darast Arabia fi Jamna Amrikia for Kahira. Wahada fi Elfwa fi Sanat Elfwa Tisme, wa Hamsa was Sabin, was Sita was Sabin. Wa Safarat Ila El Orden, wa Palestine, wa Quds and Tunis, wa Bada Misr. Second fi al Shakalasit, Takriban Sita Sita Sana. Lakin Elan Ana Ajuz. I'm a Kunt Talib with Shabab, I'm a Darast Arabia. Lakin Elan Nesit Akhariat Al Loga. Kislan, Lisan Kislan. Mutasif, Mutasif, Lakin Mumkin, inshallah, Sofa Adros Arabia Maratani, inshallah. Afwan. Now, don't tell the folks way, <laughs> who don't speak Arabic what I said, okay? <laughs> But I did spend time as an undergraduate at the American University in Cairo in the 1970s. And time spent with classmates from Egypt, from Jordan, from Palestine, and around the world, who taught me that whatever our differences of nationality or race or religion or language, there are certain aspirations that we all share. To get an education, to provide for our families, to practice our faith freely, to live in peace and security. And during a 25-year career in government, I was privileged to serve in positions across the Middle East as a political officer with the State Department and as a CIA station chief in Saudi Arabia. In Saudi Arabia, I saw how our Saudi partners fulfilled their duty as custodian of the two holy mosques of Mecca and Medina. I marveled at the majesty of the Hajj and the devotion of those who fulfilled their duty as Muslims by making that privilege, that pilgrimage. And in all my travels, the city I have come to love most is Al-Quds, Jerusalem, where three great faiths come together. So much attention is paid to the divisions in that wonderful city, 